What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another EMC. We're gonna update the F90 M5 project. I do wanna talk about these Recaro Sportster seats that I'm sitting in right now. When I sold the GTR, I took the seats out because I was saving these seats for a future project. And today we're on the topic of the M5, so I wanna hear what you guys think. Should I put these seats in the M5? Because, you know, that would be pretty cool. I saw the 2021 M5 CS and that has the new CS seats. It sort of looks like this, and it's also got the carbon backs, and I'm sure it saves a lot of weight. These have the airbags on the sides, and it's got the heated seat function, so that is extra special, but it doesn't have the power option for this, so I, so I can't tilt the seats electronically. I think that it would look really good. I just have to find the right color leather to match everything with. Besides the GTR, if you have an Audi, BW, or a Beamer, you know, and if you want to upgrade your seats and something that's more sporty, something that has more lumbar support, and you know, if you want to just finesse it, put a nice custom touch to it, I strongly suggest you guys to contact AMX Performance and get your custom Recaro seats done. Their link is below. Just tell them that EMC, Sunny sent you, and hopefully you guys will get a good discount because I have to say, Recaros are not cheap. However, AMX always has the best deals. So remember, if you're looking for really, really sick ass Recaro seats, and you want to customize it, go find Merrick, go find AMX. The AMX IG handle is right here. So if you don't want to go to the link, you can go to their IG and contact them. And hey, I always want to give a big shout out to AMX. Thank you guys for making these custom seats. Anyway, I want to show you guys what we've done with the M5. We're going to take you guys to Hub Auto so you guys will see the inventory carbon fiber intake for the M5. Now I am at Hub Auto. So this is the inventory carbon fiber intake for the F90 M5. This is what one side of the inventory carbon fiber intake looks like. And this is made from 3K carbon fiber twill. It is very, very well made inside out. And I see the inventory reverse cone technology in here. This is where the cone is. Usually when you see a cone filter, you actually see the entire filter, right? Now this filter is actually inside, but it's reversed. This is what is special and unique about the inventory cone filter designs and the whole technology involved kind of is in this wind tunnel right here. The turbulence between here and here actually causes the airflow to kind of have like the swirl effect and it becomes very volatile and the velocity is increased. So with more velocity and more volume, that will create more airflow. This is what makes the inventory intake so special. I want to give a special shout out to Bilal from Eventory and Eric from Ubo. They got the intake to Hub Auto as fast as possible. And I'm gonna have the boys here at Hub Auto do the install right now. And after it's installed, we're gonna see how it looks, see how it sounds. And I really can't wait to take it to the dyno and show you guys how much power we have added. So let's get this install going. everyone so I decided not to show you guys the final results of the inventory intake for a couple reasons 
It was extremely, extremely hot that day. It was over 30 degrees. It was about six degrees higher than we originally tested the car. And that factored into the final results. Now we did see very minimal gains. And albeit with a higher temperature, I think that's already very good. But I decided to actually do everything all at once. Meaning I decided to tune the ECU as well as install the Super Sprint downpipes with the 100 cell HJS CATS. A lot of guys out there, and probably most of you guys, will probably install everything at once. And that way you will see a bigger result of all the power added. But because I wanted to document everything step by step and part by part for all of you guys, that's why I did it this way and I separated it into a couple of vlogs. Uh, so I am debating between two ECUs, either Tech Tech or Evolve. And I think we can put that out as a poll in the YouTube community and just kind of give me your feedback. Let me know which ECU you guys think I should go with. I'm sure you guys noticed, we got HREs on finally. I read a lot of your comments before. A lot of you guys didn't like my stock wheels. You guys are telling me that it's kind of ugly. And you know what? Thank you guys for telling me that because I think that the stock wheels were pretty ugly too. So I went with the HRE Classic Series 300s. The 300 has always been one of my favorite wheels. It pretty much goes well with everything. It is a fully forged FMR barrel. And this way, it makes the three-piece wheels a little more lightweight. Obviously, it can't compare to monoblocks, but it is a little more lightweight to the previous generation HRE three-piece wheels. But I mean, look at this design. It's just so classic. It's so, so sexy. I want to give a special shout out to East Hen, Shoes and Sons, the Taiwan HRE distributor, and uh, the Laurent Allen and the boys at HRE. Thank you guys so much. I appreciate the love. And hey, you know what? We at EMC represent HRE, industry standard, the best wheels on the market, and the sexiest by far. But this time, I actually chose polished lips. The contrast between the brushed silver and the polished lips really makes this a classy look. The offset is right on point. It's flush with the fender. It doesn't get any better than this. And I do think that the gold calipers really, really stand out now. The rear is super aggressive. It came out just a tad bit, but we adjusted the cambers. I did put in the dine-in rear suspension links, and this way we can adjust the camber a little more. And it takes way more load now. So if I'm in rear wheel drive mode, I am set up perfectly now. So I'm sure you guys wanna see this car in action, and I'm sure you guys wanna see some dope B-rolls of the wheels and the cars just kind of rolling through the streets and stuff. We're gonna get that to you, I promise, okay? This summer is gonna be a banger. We're gonna have a lot of dope content, but we're gonna have some very big news coming out. EMC is gonna have a huge collaboration and we're gonna put on a show this summer, man. We're gonna have a couple dope events all over Taiwan. So before I end this vlog, the EMC black vintage t-shirts are finally out. This is our bread and butter, our long sleeves, sold like hotcakes. And here it is, everyone. The blue and the gray is all sold out, but we do have the black and the white now, so go get yours. Look out for all of our new updates. Stay boosted, everyone. Stay tuned. See you guys on the next one. Peace.